To understand how teachers' unions influence education policy, it's crucial to distinguish between the union's efforts to advance its own preferred policies and their efforts to block education reform proposals that threaten their members' interests. This distinction is critical because a lot of times people will say, wait a minute, how can you say teachers' unions are so powerful when teachers earn only a modest salary? If they were so powerful, wouldn't they all be making a quarter million dollars a year? The answer to this puzzle is quite simple. When it comes to trying to get more of what they want, higher salaries, smaller class sizes, more generous retirement benefits, teachers' unions aren't all powerful because they're just like every other interest group out there fighting for common pool resources. There's only so much money to go around and there's a significant amount of political competition for resources in state and especially national politics. But where teachers' unions are very powerful is in their ability to block reforms they oppose. This is especially true at the state and local levels of government. When policy issues are pushed down to these levels, where only a tiny fraction of Americans vote in local school board elections, the union's political power becomes especially pronounced. One example of this was the bipartisan effort to reform teacher evaluation during the 2010s. At that time, President Obama and Republicans agreed that reform was sorely needed. For far too long, student learning rarely factored into a teacher's evaluation. Even after states adopted tougher evaluation laws, for example, most school districts simply went through the motions, giving favorable evaluations to most teachers and removing few low performers from the classroom. Likewise, when states pass laws encouraging school districts to replace union-favored salary schedules with performance-based pay systems, districts tended to demure in the face of educator resistance. Remember, all the reforms that come out of Washington and states' capitals have to be implemented at the local school district level by administrators, superintendents, and school board members, many of whom owe their positions to teachers' unions. When the unions endorse a candidate in a local school board election, the union wins seven out of 10 contests, showing their significant political influence. 